So you're looking at the remains of a new genus and species of dinosaur, the most complete skeleton ever found of a super massive animal. And uh, in life, fleshed out, this would have weighed 65 tons. And to put that in perspective, a full-grown bull African elephant weighs about five tons. So you're looking at an animal that is equivalent to a dozen giant elephants smooshed into one body. So everything about this dinosaur is giant. The femur is six feet tall. The upper arm bone, the humerus, is almost as tall as I am. The tail bones are gargantuan with huge muscle scars that show us that it essentially had a weaponized tail that was 30 feet long. One vertebra in the neck is over a yard across. Uh, so this incredibly large and muscled individual that would have feared nothing in its landscape. That evokes, uh, to me, this class of turn of the last century battleship called the Dreadnoughts, which were huge, thickly clad and impervious. And uh, as a result, I've decided to name this dinosaur Dreadnoughtus, or fears nothing. I think it's finally time that herbivores get their due. Other very large dinosaurs like this are generally known from only a couple of bones. In many cases, one, two, three bones. And this one is represented by over a hundred elements. And so for the first time, paleontologists are going to have a look at a nearly complete uh, skeleton of one of the most massive creatures that ever walked the earth. So there are a lot of good places to look for dinosaurs in the world, and one of the best is Patagonia, and southernmost Patagonia has received relatively little attention. So I wanted to go there because I figured I would find some dinosaurs, and because it's relatively unexplored, I thought there was a good chance that there might be something new. So this is the discovery piece. This is the uh, giant femur of this animal. And in 2005, I found a small patch of this bone exposed at the surface. It was hard to recognize it bone. It had been covered by uh, gypsum uh, minerals and, and weathered. And so I GPS this bone and we came back later that day, began to uncover this and eventually uh, uncovered uh, hundreds of bones representing the skeleton at this site. So one of the most amazing parts of this dinosaur is its tail. And the tail starts here, and it goes way down to here, and then it would go about eight feet through this wall. And so it's 30 feet altogether. And this is an incredibly bulky, massively muscled tail. Everything about this speaks to its power. And um, this is a really interesting set of bones. We call these uh, chevrons. And in other big dinosaurs, this area kind of comes down and tapers to a gentle V here. In this dinosaur, it flares out into this immense area for muscle attachment, making this, uh, I would say, the most powerful tail that's ever been seen. One of the most enjoyable aspects of this project has been working with my Argentinian colleagues. Back in the lab here, though, we're starting to apply some very cutting-edge techniques to studying this dinosaur. We're using a 3D laser scanner to capture the digital form of these bones, and then essentially we can digitally curate the fossil. This has the advantage that it doesn't take space. These images can be ported around the world to other scientists, other museums, and we can use them in biomechanical models. A dinosaur in this mass range, 65 tons, is really pushing the limit. So what is physiologically possible, so it would be very hard to understand this dinosaur from a very fragmentary skeleton, and we're fortunate that we have nearly a complete skeleton of this amazing creature. So we're going to be able to understand kind of the frontier of physiology in terms of supermassive uh, land animals from this animal.